Okay, so for this titration, we got kind of a, it just says a solid that so much percent of these hydroxides. We're going to titrate with HCl, uh, and it'll basically react with this for a neutralization reaction. Okay, This is a pretty standard example where we're going to start with the one without the question mark, change this to moles, do molar ratio, and then find molarity here. So basically, molarity is going to be moles per liter. So we'll need moles. Once we have moles, we already have the volume. So we'll just go from there. The hard part about this problem is that we'll need to find the amount of hydroxide in this. So how do I do this? Hi, welcome. Take a seat. Okay, so how we're going to do this is we know that that rock is this much, weighs this much, whatever it is. It's 7.5% of and 92.5% of that. So what we're going to do is going to say 0 0.235 grams times 0 0.925, that's the percent, that's going to equal uh, whatever the grams of NaOH. And then from the other one, 0 0.075 times 0 0.235 grams. Same thing, but multiplied by the other percentage. I put it first, I don't know why, just randomly. Oh, hi, welcome. Hello. Grams. Maybe later we'll move to a larger room. Okay. Uh, calcium hydroxide. But for now, you get to stand. <laughs> okay. So, those values, if someone has a calculator, that could be helpful to calculate those numbers. So you have the masses of each of those. What we're going to do, it's going to be a little bit messy, but you'll see how this works. Uh, for NaOH, it's 0 0.2173, or... Okay, we'll stop there. This is number one, page 165, number B. And then point zero one seven six. Okay, so in that thing, this is the mass of each of those, okay? So now we need to find out essentially the moles of hydroxide of each so we can do our little conversion. So what we're going to do you just take one at a time. Uh, start with the one on the top. It doesn't matter. I need to do anything. To do anything titration-wise, I need moles. So, 0.217 grams of sodium hydroxide times the molar mass of sodium hydroxide. So that's from the periodic table will get me moles of, well, I guess I should say one more step. For every one mole of sodium hydroxide, there's one mole of OH minus, if that's okay. I want to find how much OH minus there is. Now, this is going to be so many moles of OH minus. Now, usually in a normal problem, I'd only have one of these. So I'd be set, now I'd do my molar ratio, and then I'd find moles of HCl. However, <laughs> there's a second component, so we've got to do this. Everything we're doing twice in this problem. So we're also, if you can follow this arrow, with that part, 0 0.176 grams, oh I forgot a zero, 0 0.176 0 grams of calcium hydroxide times 
times its molar mass. Hi, welcome. Times two moles of hydroxide for every one mole of CaOH2. So, in both cases, I'm going to find the moles of a hydroxide. Is that okay? Okay. So, now what I'm going to do is, uh, I think the easiest thing would be whatever these two numbers are. Take another pen. Add them. Mm -hmm. So, now we'll get total moles of hydroxide. Usually in other problems, this is where you start. In like your simple problem, you start here. They give you the moles of hydroxide or the mass and you just convert it to the simple conversion. In this case, we didn't get that opportunity. So you're going to take that number, I'll use the same color <coughs> so you can follow along. That number, moles of hydroxide, whatever number it is. Now I can use this. It's going to react in a one-to-one -one molar ratio with this because there's one, only one H here. Meaning that there's going to be one mole of hydroxide for every one mole of HCl. And this will get me moles of HCl. Then I take that number, that's this number right there, the top, I divide it by that. Mm -hmm. So, moles of HCl divided by this in liters, 0 0.45, oops, I need an extra zero, 0.56 liters, and that's my answer. Okay. That was kind of a confusing one to pick for first. I didn't know if you want. I don't know if you wanted that difficulty. Thank you. Okay, I'd say this is on the higher end of difficulty level for you. Okay. Anybody else have questions on this one?